Hello, lovers and lonely hearts. At Snakes and Lattes, we get a lot of customers on first dates. And some of those first dates even come back for marriage proposals. But, you know, love is more than just novelty balloons and heart-shaped empty calories. Sometimes, love requires a real connection. And board games can help make that connection. So, what is it about a board game cafe that makes it such a good place for a first date? Board games are face-to-face -face and interactive, two things that a date should definitely be. Board games are also revealing. People tend to be on their best behavior during a first date, but something about playing a game brings out the truth in people. Board games are informative. By playing a game with someone for 15 minutes, you will learn more about them than you will in three hours of conversation. What's your date good at? Name a phobia. Oh. Hippopotamonstrosisquipedaleophobia. What the f is that? PP. Fear of very long words. PPO. Does your date have a good sense of humor? Why am I sticky? The Kool-Aid Man. Batman! Totally Batman. No. Definitely Batman. Yours Batman. doesn't make any sense. Batman. No, but my- Batman wins. Batman's hilarious! Maybe your date has the hands of a surgeon. Is your date an alpha dog? Woof! Five rats. Yeah, 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 yeah. I win. That's not how you play poker. Hey, five rats. Yeah, yeah. Nice luck. <laughs> yeah. I like to recommend games that are simple to learn and don't take so much brain sweat that you can't still have a conversation while you're playing. Games like Quarto and Pentago are perfect for this because they're similar enough to Connect Four that they're not going to scare away non-gamers, but they're sophisticated enough that even a hobbyist can enjoy them from time to time. Quizniak is a great trivia game that works perfectly for two people. What movie won Jodie Foster her first Academy Award? Taxi Driver. Oh, Scorsese is such a brilliant director, such gritty, brutal realism. I don't know. I, I saw it a while ago. Maybe if I'd seen it when it first came out, it would have had a bigger... Quizniac's hard to come by these days, but any trivia game will still provide that same jumping off point for good conversation. Kids games make great date games too, because they tend to be silly and fun and childlike. And frankly, anything that makes you seem fun to your date is an excellent way to make sure there's a second date. If you have a funny or heartwarming dating board game story, Post it in the comments below. And if you've got a date coming up, try your local board game cafe. And tweet us at Snakes and Lattes to let us know how it went. As always, if you've got questions, you can send them to asksnakes at snakesandlattes.com. P-O-T-O-M-O-N-S-T-R-O S E S Q where's the Q? Oh, there's no Q. Uh, I U U I P P. -E. Time's up. Oh no. <laughs> 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 <laughs>